article link will be in the description. Okay, the Queen's biggest mistake of the last decade was allowing Charles and Andrew to oust Lord Gates from the royal household. I've done several videos regarding uh, Ravek, uh, what's the name of the thing, Ravek, uh, the security thing for Harry and all of that. I've mentioned something in that nature about this being one of the mistakes that the, the royal family had made. And I think I even mentioned about uh, uh, Edward and Anne who showed their concern of that decision of uh, ousted uh, Lord Gates too young. Okay, so let's read and then I'll put my description. Is this the guy who's Lord Gates? But anyway, let's read. Okay, as one decade ends and a new one begins, it is perhaps sensible to look back at the past 10 years, what we did well and what we didn't do so well. The Queen, of course, had many highlights from jumping out of a helicopter for London 2012 and inviting Sir David Attenborough to Buckingham Palace for the filming of a documentary. When looking back at the Queen's mistakes, however, there is one moment that stands out above all else the outstanding of Lord Gates from the royal household. I said this. No matter how you perceive the royal family, but depending on the perspective that uh, you're looking at, all right, we just have to be honest with ourselves. We may not like the royal family, but when you look at, if you were in their shoes, what would you do? So this is it. This is the biggest mistake, and I've seen it from a mile away. <laughs> While I'm saying this, I'm thinking of a comment that I read yesterday on uh, on one of my videos. Someone mentioned that uh, if YouTube is giving me a problem, uh, why don't I go on another platform to do my thing? <laughs> my response was that uh, if uh, the negative channels are out, then I'll be out. Or unless uh, the Sussexes tell me to cut it out. That's the only reason I will stop. I because this was never about money from the beginning. I always said that money is good, but money is not everything. All right, it's the information trying to poison people's mind that's really annoying people. But let's continue <laughs> with the article. Okay, Lord Gates or Sir Christopher Gates, as he was known at the time, was Her Majesty's private secretary for 10 years and her deputy private secretary for a number of years before that. So he was in that position for a very long time. This was a loyal person who took his jobs very seriously and was looking out for the institution. Let's continue. He was known to be straight talking, often telling members of the royal family things they wouldn't like to hear but should listen to. This is the thing here. This is why they remove him, those two idiots who's causing problem right now. All right. It was in July 2017 when Her Majesty's most trusted aide was forced, okay, was forced out of the job by the Prince of Wales and the Duke of York in what the media described as a power struggle at the time. The power struggle is thought to have centered around the plans and place for when Prince Charles turned 70. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And it's becoming a freaking disaster. Right now, what's going on on Twitter, I haven't recorded anything about that, is how they're trying to, you know, another level, part two of revamping, uh, what's, his na what's her name, Camilla's image. And uh, they don't want to talk about uh, uh, the Panorama interview and all of that. All right, so this is what's going on on Twitter right now, but um, I want to focus on some of the things that I've already recorded and wants to edit. And here I am recording this because this was too good to not share. All right, even though it's the same principle from the other articles that I've shared with you guys are saying almost the same thing. I don't think it's the same article, but it's repeating almost the same thing. So if two or three different articles are mentioned that there's a possibility they just teaming up to spread their message all right well then again you never know but let me not go into that but let's read this the heir to the throne wanted a much yeah a much weaker role and preparation for becoming king however it is understood sir christopher raised concern Prince Andrew back his brother in this unprecedented role, helping remove Sir Christopher 
from his role as private secretary, sources said that Andrew shared a great dislike to Sir Christopher in the same sense as his brother did. So they team up to get rid of him because they can't get what they want. They want to hear what they want to hear. But meanwhile, the world around them is evolving. All right? It's not waiting for them. But things is happening, but they don't want to hear it. They want to hear good things all the time. Okay, once so they removed the guy who's selling them the truth. One source said Andrew was still furious about Lord Gates' role and getting the prince removed as the UK trade. It sounds like the same thing that I read, is it? Uh, UK trade envoy in 2011 due to his friendship with the convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. So I remember reading that. Others say it was because Sir Christopher heavily controlled Andrew's expenditure. <laughs> Okay, so he didn't want him to spend too much money. Yeah. Okay, responding to report of a power struggle at the time, the royal household issued a statement saying, quote, while we will never comment on the confidential employment details of individuals, it was previously announced that July that Sir Christopher Gate is stepping down after 10 years as private secretary. Quote, at the time of the announcement, the Lord uh, Chamberlain paid tribute to the major contribution made by Sir Christopher, who in turn commended the support offered to Her Majesty by other members of the royal family. The Prince of Wales and the entire royal family are committed to supporting the Queen in whatever way they can at Her Majesty's request. Beyond that, we are not going to engage with a story based on rumor from unnamed sources. Alright, so there's those things, unnamed sources. Alright. Uh, one can help but wonder how much regret the Queen feels for not doing more to prevent the loss of Lord Gates from her office. Since his departure, the Queen has appeared weak. It is as if she cannot control her family from Prince Andrew's further Epstein troubles to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex hurtful statement. All right, so the statement is probably uh, when Harry mentioned that uh, he hoped that the queen has good people around her and stuff like that you know how did it feel being back um being with her being with her it was great it was it was just so nice to see her you know she's on she's on great form we always she's always got a great sense of humor uh, with me and i'm just making sure that she's you know protected and got the, the right people around well you, you whatever harry had said to hoda on the nbc and the us all right so this is this one i've uh, shared that with you already this article that's where uh what is it princess anne and edward were against uh charles and, and andrew's thing here so i'm just gonna read this paragraph prince charles was thought to be angry that he did not have a big enough role in organizing his own 70th there it is it's mentioned here birthday while andrew is said to have long resented him for removing him as the uk trade envoy in 2011 following his link to jeffrey epstein being exposed so two different articles almost the same thing Okay, Young served as gate deputy, playing a key role in organizing the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and the London 2012 Olympic Games opening ceremony skit. Unfortunately, the choice of Young as a replacement, as a weaker, there it is, okay, as a weaker, easier courtier to control than gate has backfired massively, this part, as a weaker, easier courtier to control than gate has backfired massively and this is why the other article is saying this is their biggest mistake the queen biggest mistake of the last decade was allowing charles and andrew to oust lord gates from the royal household okay so this is the other article both of them will be in the description all right now back to this article and i'm just gonna finish with this um paragraph there is a massive blame game the source continue edward young was appointed by charles because he wanted someone weak i mentioned this on another video before but uh, he has not been wise or intuitive this harry and megan thing has not suddenly happened the prince andrew situation didn't just happen two things all right we're in the boiling pot but all of a sudden it just explodes all right, senior officials like Gates were warning, okay, were warning about this stuff years ago, which is why Charles and Andrew got rid of him, okay? So now, which I then record today, is that, uh, what is it? They're trying to ramp up uh, 
trying to get rid of uh, uh, the panorama interview that Princess Diana did and try to pretend it never happened, paying people, whatever. They could cover as much as they want, but the UK taxpayers needs to look at and say, why are you using my money to pay? Well, no, 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 no. Let me take that back. It's not uh, uh, to that they're paying those uh, BBC people. You know what? Let me leave that alone. A lot of nonsense is going on. Let me see this article here. Princess Charlene of Monaco done ice blue gown. Okay, so they're just talking about stuff like that, but forget that. All right, so that's from Tatler. And then the, this Tatler article, I cover it fully already. Okay, I covered it already, but this paragraph is the most important one. And this article is also going to be in the description for you to check it out. And I'm going to double check to see if it is the same article from that other video so I don't put it twice. All right, so that's it. Let me get back to my editing. I can help it but uh, to share that with you. The Queen's biggest mistake of the last decade was allowing Charles and Andrew to ask Lord Gates from the royal household. Yep, so I was right.